I always love to get a little bit of good news into our show, and that, of course, includes our first responders. They're always in the community getting results for those in need. So Trooper Steve is here to share some of his favorite stories of the week with us. Now, listen up very clearly. We want to wish a very happy birthday to former Orlando Police Department Major Don Van Sequoyak, who mm -hmm. just turned 90 years old. Wow, Chief Orlando great. Rolone and members of nice. the Orlando Police Department visited with him to celebrate. Don served with OPD from 1953 until 1978 and held the rank of patrolman, sergeant, lieutenant, captain, and major. Today's equivalent to deputy chief. That puts him as number two back then. Don and his wife, Linda, recently celebrated their 70th wedding anniversary, oh, wow. and they still live right here in the city. Beautiful Orlando Mayor Buddy Dyer also issued a proclamation declaring July 3rd, 2019 as Don Van Sequoyak Day in the city of Orlando. Happy awesome birthday. and happy birthday to you, happy sir. Happy birthday. Flagler County Deputy Gossett observed Aubrey showing good manners and being respectful to her mom. So for that, yeah. she gets a sweet treat citation. Way to go, Aubrey. <laughs> we love to see stuff like that. I never had those kind of tickets to mm -hmm. hand out. Orlando firefighters got really good day, if you say so myself. Check this out. When six guide dogs in training mm -hmm. met firefighters in full gear for their first time this weekend, this helps them become acclimated to sights, sounds, and scents, of course, when getting up close with first <laughs> responders. We think the southeastern guide dogs had a pretty great time there. And hashtag Lucky Ducks, literally <laughs> Orange County, Fire Rescue <laughs> Engine 63. They're always, always up Orange to good County. stuff, right? Yeah. And Squad 4 rescued 11 ducklings from Storm Drain at Full Sail University and brought them to Mama Duck, of course, and then got them all safety, all to safety to a nearby pond. They're so cute in that bucket. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh it looks goodness. a little familiar to outside the station. <laughs> yeah. So out in Ocoee, police say sometimes it's more than just bad guys we have to take into custody. Officer Park was quick to help a local resident who found a inside her house next to her refrigerator. No. Mm -hmm. Ooh, mm -hmm. Officer Park took care of getting the snake out and back to the proper place outside. And the resident was then able to finally get her breakfast. <laughs> Listen, I am the same person. I'd probably call law enforcement too to come get the snake out of my house. Ooh. We want to hear your positive stories. Head over to clickorlando.com and tell us about it. I didn't know you could do that. I, that's why I was just thinking. I've had snakes in my house before, and yes. I've never called 911 First for First responders will come out. They'll get that snake out there Good for you. Good to know. Or you can also just guide them out with a broom. If you want to get that close, not me. So. <laughs> all right, that's so all just you. hope you don't show up. You I, call 911 and get the house snake out. Snake. Sorry. <laughs> Am I the only one who, when you say baby duck and mama duck, I thought do 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 do. See, I'm past the baby shark phase yeah, of life. I'm to get so, over that. yeah. Okay. Well, coming to Orlando with a concert soon. <laughs> yes. Concert near us. Thanks yes. for joining us this morning.